rolling here. Here goes the music. They said it couldn't be done. They said it wouldn't last. White man, black man, America F1. America F1, coming to you straight from San Francisco, California. Sherman Tillman, Michael Lawler. America F1. What? 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 What do you mean, what? 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 Are we, are we on? Are we we are, on? We're on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, welcome to America F1. I'm uh, Sherman Tillman. Yeah, I'm Michael Lawler. Um... <laughs> I, I, I wish we would get to talk about uh, auto racing, but unfortunately, um, season's over. I mean, the uh, season is over before it race started. Race two. Um, uh, uh, Red Bulls won again. I mean, is F one dead now? There's then we still have a we have a whole season to go. There's still twenty two races, right? <sighs> and then there's twenty four more races next year. Where uh, no, because no one's going to develop their cars now. What for? To do what? So, Max Verstappen, of course, won the Saudi, Verstappen. Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. By like how long? Uh, I think he didn't win by 22. He kind of turned it down at the end. Maybe he won by 14, I thought. Over who? Guess. Checo. How far so was So, one, Checo two ahead? again. But who was he, how far was he ahead of the other guys? Checo wasn't that far ahead well, he of was far enough ahead to, Charles to Leclerc. come in second, right? Yeah, but Charles Leclerc wasn't like miles away. You know, he wasn't twenty seconds well, behind they, him. Do, but, do you have a feeling that they? Just, but I, obviously, Checo, his pace isn't as good as the rest of the top drivers. You know, well, he was just put putting along, just like Max was. They weren't because they would have lapped everybody, in my opinion. <clears> they, I don't think they would have lapped everybody. Eh, I think they would have I mean, lapped everybody. Right now, that. after you have the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, after we've seen two races, my order right now is Red Bull, it's Ferrari, uh, McLaren, Aston Martin, and then Mercedes. Ooh. Well, Sherman doesn't understand that these Mercedes all the like tracks are going to be different. All these teams are going to do different things. I know, I know, I know. But Mercedes has no s- top line speed, and they're all going to start bringing supposedly updates to the car. I have no idea why. No, so. uh, no, no top of the line speed like down the straights. They're fast corners. They're slow. They're slow. They're slow here. The only thing they're doing is slow to medium corners. They're fast in, or they have good times. And the car is like a brick going down the straightaway. So. And they're bouncing again. That's I saw they're Hamilton. Trying to get the card out of the, as low to the ground as yeah, they can. Yeah, I saw Hamilton doing the whole oh, win this race. Anyways, um, yeah, I think the I don't think the Mercedes has the engine that they used to have. I think the Honda is the best engine right now. Definitely. Um, the Ferrari is number two. Mm-hmm. Um, and the Mercedes is in the Aston Martin, the McLaren. I think McLaren's better right now. I don't know. I think McLaren's just ahead of Mercedes and Aston Martin at this They're point. They're all racing for second place, so... Yeah, and right now I think Ferrari have second place But their car doesn't look up unless they out lose the corner it. either. That car looks like it wobbles through the... It has rear I mean, the only car that looks like it's stable the through Red the whole Bull. track is the Red Bull. Everybody else is having issues. I mean, nobody's having issues like Alpine, but... Oh, they're... they're, they're I mean... They might not be a Formula One team next year. They might be called uh, Andretti Alpine, Renault team. Who knows? If I was Renault and Andretti gave me, I don't know, nine hundred million or a billion dollars, the I take it. The estimated value of the team is eight hundred million dollars. No one's going to come along and give Renault eight hundred million dollars. You don't think so? You don't think Andretti would give him eight hundred million dollars? No, I think that's that. That's just. They say stuff in at, at the Palace Hotel. We have a, a picture in the Pied Piper called the Pied Piper that's estimated at $10 million. But nobody, I repeat, nobody is going to show up and give $10 million for a painting. That's just crazy. I think I think Andretti would give them eight hundred and Well, uh, if they, they had million it, dollars. most of that I would, think come they would. From, it would. It would have to come from Cadillac, and then Renault would have to leave Formula One. I don't think Renault... Well, no one else has... They're not a customer. No one has a customer well, engine. They, they screwed for up their deal Nobody. With Red Bull because they didn't make a good engine. So then, why would anybody take the engine? Well, they, they obviously they 
when Renault took over uh, the, the Lotus team and turned it back into their works team, they specifically said, we're not going to put any money into our race team. We're going to try and do it a different way. And their way from the beginning has not worked. Everything they've done to try and not spend money, that doesn't work. That's not how you win races. You have to spend money. Period. The end. So what I don't like, and all over the internet, people are like, I'm not renewing my F1 I, 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 subscription. I'm, I'm not watching. They watch like two laps and they turn it off. Like, <clears throat> is Red Bull and the FIA, and I say the FIA specifically because... We all remember under Mercedes, they were always saying, you can't do this. You can't do DOS. You can't, you, this wing's no good. The front wing's no good. The back wing's no good. Hell, the floor's no good. They kept just trying to reel Mercedes back to the field. And in Red Bull, they haven't said one thing. Because they not, they're not one doing, thing. They're not doing anything. There has evil. to be something, they're Mike. Not doing there has anything. to be. Well, they have a better car. They have the there has to be something wrong. Well, I'm. It has I'm, to be. The only thing they can they're do, cheating. <laughs> they're, of course, they're cheating. Of course, that's not that. That's, that's the insane. Red Bull way. They're cheating. You know it. But anyways, I know it. You know it. Um, we're not gonna have any racing this year, so uh, all the real Formula One fans, uh, we don't really care. Uh, it would be nice to have like a fight on our hands, but we're not gonna have one this year. Our next year, 2026 is could be the redemption for Formula One, but. They keep making these stupid rules, like this stupid ground effects car that they came up with. Yeah, they got to get rid of that. I knew that wasn't going to work. Yeah, they got to get rid of it. And Ross Brown was behind it, too, and he's usually on point with stuff, so I'm surprised it didn't work. But Well, he said that it would bring the racing closer. Now, everybody else is close. Well, it might be... It, <laughs> everybody they, else is close. It's just not the Red Bull. They said it was going to make it so you, when you're behind the car... Right, you can follow. You can follow. And everyone They've says... They've done that. Everyone says it works better, but unfortunately... They have Adrian Newey, and Adrian Newey should be passed around like a joint. He just he should yes. get. He should be on the Ferrari team next year with Lewis. That would be awesome. Oh, so many people are leaving all these teams and going to Ferrari. Well, that's because they get promoted. That's the that's the reason so why many you leave. People. That's why you leave a team. You don't leave it because you're going to take the exact same position for the same money. No one does that. But you get promoted and you get more money. That's why you bounce from team to team. Or they just. Some of these people just don't want to work at Mercedes anymore. Like what happened to McLaren ten years ago yes. when everyone just but, everyone bounced from that team because they knew it was like it was. Hamilton know. has a kind of knack for leaving at the right time. Yeah, he's, I mean, no, he really he does. Left last year, if he really had a knack for it. He should have. But he was under. You know, he's doing his contract, and he thought it was yeah, going to turn out. Last summer, he signed this contract for 2024, and he could have went to. Uh, uh, Ferrari and they offered him like 40 40 last well, time. Well no, that's what the that's what the, the the rumor on the street was, but he's been getting 50 million from Mercedes. Why would he take less money? Well, he 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 got a bag now. Oh, they, they, <laughs> he got a bag now. No one knows what his no one knows how much money these guys make. It's just a rumor, but they he 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 said to them like, "Look here Ferrari, if I come here, you have to take a Brinks truck and drive it over to my house and leave it in the driveway, and we're good. And he said, not only will I get this Brink, Brinks truck, but he also, I, I want two of those LaFerraris. Oh, they um, that, that's, that, that's just and that's perks with the job. I, I want one in blue. He already owns a LaFerrari. What would he want another one for? I think he sold it. Well, he buys car every year. He buys a new car. And anyways, well, they don't even buy. He doesn't those. have. An, he they doesn't just have, give them to him. He doesn't have an airplane anymore, which is really weird. He had his airplane for a while and he sold it. Well, with all the things that are going on in the airlines today, maybe he should get his. Airplane. Maybe he should get his, <laughs> should get his, maybe his plane, plane back. back. Maybe that's part of the deal. It's like um, I want a law for our airplane. Okay? So I want to know. So Red Bull is all over motorsports. When you think about it, they're in pretty much every sport. Red Bull, the, the, the company. Yes. Yeah. I don't think they're NASCAR, though. Yeah, they are. Are they? Well, they don't have the NASCAR team anymore, but I think they're... They got to be sponsored. Someone's got to have a Red Bull sponsorship in NASCAR. But they they came to NASCAR, and they were in NASCAR for about five or six years, and then they just out of nowhere pulled out. And they were in IndyCar, too, and they pulled out. But most of the time, they're sponsoring uh, the, the actual drivers. Why well, I think uh, F1 is dead at least right now, is because we all know who's going to win before the race starts. 
When now, he doesn't even, win, it'll be because they broke. That's the and only. even under the Hamilton era, even under the Schumacher era, other teams were winning. Other racers. Well, they'd win a, a race or two a year. Two. But under Hamilton, I don't, he didn't win more than like well, remember there 12 was, races in a there year. There was two drivers, though. There was him and Rosberg were competing against right. each other. So that was... They actually had something something going on. This is nothing going on. Yeah, because Max, we all know that Checo. I mean, Checo unfortunately, is, is he's just not allowed well. to race with him. I don't think, um, or why, and he's not fast enough to race with him. But he's perfect as the number two driver for the Red Bull team. And all this conjecture, all this rumors going around, saying that he's going to be replaced by someone. No one's going to replace Checo unless Checo so. wants to get replaced. If I was Checo, I wouldn't leave. He's racing really well. Uh, he's finished second twice in a row. He looks like he has good form. He kind of knows wh- what his place is. He knows what his role is. Everybody knows he's not going to challenge Max. He's not going to give him any problems. He's going to win a couple races a year, and he's going to finish in the top, you know, ten or hopefully he gets in the to top fly five. On a big old yeah. his own private airplane. You know? I, and and they seem to get along because if you put. Well, you wouldn't put Norris in there because Norris doesn't really want competition. Norris just signed the contract, like, yeah. though. He just signed Yeah, it. but, but remember, let's just say if, if it was science, if science was there, uh, Max would have a little competition. Nah, I think science so. On the race pace, driver. definitely. He's, what would you say? He's a number two driver. What would you say? Science, Carlos, the smooth criminal, or the smooth operator, is a number two driver. He's Blasphemy. Number two. All right. No way. Never mind. Take it back. I'm not taking it back. Take it back right now. Nope. You need remember, to take some Tylenol because that is an insane with take, Carlos, and you obviously have a headache. Operator, science, which is the dumbest decision ever, man. And that's my don't prediction. talk about Carlos like that. My prediction. You talk for- about Carlos. You talk about Yuki. No, <laughs> no, bad boy. Down Mike. Down yeah, Mike. They're both hoopty drivers. Vettel will be back in the Mercedes. Oh, next come on. Year, Stop and that. He's, going they, he's not coming and back. He might, if he's goes, not coming back into the car. If Vettel goes no. to Mercedes, Adrian Newey goes to Mercedes. That's my prediction for 2025. <laughs> Do you just fucking take the dice and just roll it at the door nope. and see what fucking comes up? Vettel's not going to be there. And Newey, no way is he going to Mercedes. If he Why goes not? anywhere, he'll go to Ferrari. Nope, because he doesn't want to leave England, and he lives right down the street from Ferrari, so... What? You yeah. just said he lives down the street for, for yeah. Ferrari. Ferrari's in Italy, you knucklehead. No, I mean I mean Mercedes. He lives right down the street. He lives right in the vicinity of Mercedes, so he doesn't have to move or nothing. He, can just he ain't going there. He ain't going there. Anyway. He ain't going there. What about you? Because the nonsense no. that's going on at Red Bull right now, people are going to leave. Yeah. And not only power, that, there's a power struggle. There's a power it's, struggle. It's power struggle. Talk, had, talk about it, Mike. This has nothing to do with some some his Christian Horner's personal assistants. Supposedly he was she was dating Yas for Staffen. Right. Um, this is some sort of baloney witch hunt by Helmut Marko, or whoever is trying to get rid of Horner because Horner supposedly, what Sherman told me today, if it's true, was trying to get backing to buy the. The, uh, Red Bull Formula He had backing team. from some people in England. Um, if that's the case, that's what this is all about. It's and definitely not about like some stupid Not only did he have backing from people in England, the Austrian wing, which is Helmut Marko, Joss Verstappen, Max Verstappen. Verstappen. Ha- Verstappen. They had no clue about it. Well, if that's the... If that's, if, if that sounds like it would be more uh, realistic than if some... some is, he's... He, because his personal assistant, supposedly he's been his personal assistant for a while. So, yeah. So it, it's not like he it, just started harassing yeah, her. Yeah. Like I, I just started harassing yeah. her. And there's like, supposedly it was only like 50 emails. You email your assistant maybe 50 times a day, probably. You could. It's yeah. yeah. So stupid. That's probably what the, this is all about. It hasn't been reported. I haven't heard anything about it. But the woman in, in question was suspended from Red Bull with pay. So yeah. she's gonna get paid, and um, I heard she got a little pay pay. She got a little here, here's some money, you know, a little money. Because she has nothing to do with what's going on. This is a witch hunt, witch hunt, and and Christian Horner played his cards right to the. He did a very what do you job. think about the 19 year old Oliver? Ollie, his name is Oliver. I just said Oliver. I know, but they're calling him Ollie for some reason. I, I, okay, I well, maybe that's it. that's what he wants to be called. How do you know? You don't know him. The British always ruin it. They call Charles Leclerc, Charles Leclerc. 
Wait, is he in an eclair or is no? It... It's Leclerc. It's not. Leclerc. I know it's Leclerc, but they called him Leclerc. All Did the time. they? No. Yeah. Who called him that? Everybody in the English press calls him Leclerc. What do you think about uh, Ollie's race there, Mike? He came in seventh. Yeah. What do you think? He's got a Formula One career. He's going to be in one of the Ferrari-backed uh, engine cars next year. He'll either be in the Haas or the. Uh, so the I know everyone's in love with. How he finished, and he had the little extra headrest. Did you see that on his left hand oh, side? Because his neck was just Lewis had, to help, Lewis had to help him out of the car because he's not. You're not. He's not built for the. He he's said not the, ready yet. Yeah, the, but he'll the be G ready Force. in the next race. Yeah, his neck's not strong enough. Um, but if Ferrari have the second best car, Mike, and you have Max number one, and you have Checo in number two, and you have Charles at number three. Don't you think Ali should have finished fourth, five, or six? Why would Dude, seventh? He finished seventh. But what are seventh you talking about? in w. the second fastest car. Dude, he did a great job because if he, he didn't he didn't make it to quality three. He had no, he did. He, he, he had, qualified well, he tenth. Had, he had one session. He in call, the car. Oh, he qualified eleventh. Okay. He had one session. He had the quality three. That was it. And then he's in the and then he's qualifying. Okay. okay so you're insane. You have no. Idea I, no, I'm not about. saying I'm. I'm insane. I'm just asking a question. Do you think he could have finished? Higher. No, he was okay. like, I mean, he finished. Now, I want to shut up all these fans, and I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. i seen it, and I don't like it. What don't you like? They're talking about Lewis Hamilton. They're like, oh, well, Lewis Hamilton is washed because they had some rookie uh, finish ahead of him. And why did the rookie finish ahead of him? Lewis Hamilton so good, he should have finished. And listen, you dummies. Okay? <laughs> you dumbasses. Lewis if is you, not washed. He's, not first even of all, Lewis is not even close to being washed. Second of all... Second of all, he was on a different strategy. If you watch the damn race, they left him out on the mediums. Or what was no, actually it was the 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 first stint was the everybody was on the the, the, yeah, the mediums. mediums. The so mediums. they left him out on the mediums. Everybody else when your buddy crashed. Who? <laughs> Daddy's boy. Daddy's oh, when daddy's Lance, Lance, when so daddy's boy crashed. Oh, I'm a dumb mistake. I mean, Lance, come dude, on, dude. That's a dude. very fast track. He just made. He just he clipped it. He clipped the wall. Did he hit yeah, the wall? he clipped the oh, wall. I thought, broke I thought, I thought broke the tie were... rod. Broke oh, the yeah, tire yeah. and just went straight on in. It's a fucking scary track. Pardon my French, but it's a scary, scary track. So okay, so all the teams were double stacking when that crash happened. Uh, everyone came in and they double stacked. The only ones who did not come in to double stack were Hamilton, Norris, and well, um, the Hulkenberg. But they were trying something. No, yeah, no, no. I, I like the strategy. I think it was a perfect strategy move because you leave leave these guys out, keep the track position, and if another because Saudi that track is known for safety cars. Safety. There's never been a race there without a safety car so you had one so they were predicting that most likely they might have another one so they split the strategies which i thought was perfectly fine so if you have hamilton out longer and you have norris out longer and holkenberg out longer and there is no safety car or virtual safety car then the other people who came in are on fresher tires of course ollie's gonna finish ahead Okay, so don't give don't give me this crap of oh he finished ahead of Hamilton. Hamilton's wash. Oh, oh, maybe they should take Ollie. Man, ain't nobody buying any Ollie merch. Nobody knows <laughs> Ollie is. Nobody, nobody's buying an eighteen year old, nineteen year old kid's sh- shirt. Okay, he's eighteen. Yeah, no one's buying that. He's not gonna go and sell cars. No one's buying a Ferrari from Ollie Berman. Okay, so get it out of your mind, you dummies. Stop talking about Hamilton saying he's washed. He did, he, Ollie did Give me a break. He did, he did, he did a great he did a great job. He did a great job. Great. But saying Hamilton's wash, some of you knuckleheads out there saying, I, I, I ought to slap the living crap Anyways, out of you. White courtesy phone, paint you new subject. Okay, what, what's next? So, you know, I don't like it when you do that. What? I just don't like well, it. Well, you got, you got your point across. I know. You're I know, on. but uh, I'm gonna have a sip of this beer. <laughs> I wish I had it. I, uh, Uncle Mike hasn't had a drink in almost six weeks. He's getting into shape. <laughs> Going back to Thailand. Oh, uh, well, on, on can't have everything in life. In Koh Samui, Thailand. I'll be there for two weeks. Thanks, oh, are uh, you? Two weeks again. 
I'm going same I'll, place. I'll be four. I'll be four days in in Bangkok and eleven days in Costa. Are you going to the same place that you same went to last place, time? Same hotel, same everything. Except in in Bangkok, I'm staying at a different hotel. I found a cheaper place. So, what do you think about the Haas team scoring a point here? They're better and, than they, I thought they were going to be. I didn't realize the Alpine was going to be this bad. They're horrible. They're just they're way off the pace, like way. It's like a the tractor pace. they're driving. Well, they're was it how many pounds overweight? Mike? Yeah, supposedly it's twenty two pounds overweight. Wow, that's a lot. Yep. I mean, that's a lot of weight. It's a few gallons of gas is what it is. So tell me about this whole thing and this whole controversy over Magnuson, who had a twenty seconds in penalty point. Oh, <laughs> seconds, <laughs> twenty seconds, uh-huh. and they left him out. He cut the chicane. He was ahead of Yuki. He didn't give the place back. He was like, I got all these penalties, seconds, who cares? And he blocked, basically blocked the whole field so he, that Hulkenberg can sc- score that point. And then Red Bull, of all teams, of all teams to say anything about anything was unfair, actually made a protest and said that Magnuson should have, you know, shouldn't do that. And that wasn't sport. That, oh, their exact wording in the in the statement was it was unsportsmanlike. Well, because I think it had something to do with it blocked your uh, your favorite driver in, in Formula One who can't drive Yuki Tsunoda in the Red Bull Two, uh, whatever they call that thing this year. Yuki. Anyways, this is Yuki's last year in Formula One. So. Oh, come on. So <clears throat> and, and as probably, long as and, Honda has money in Formula One. Yuki Tsunoda will be in that car. Man, that money will run out. He's beating Ricardo both races. He's ahead of Ricardo. He's beating him in qualifying. He's beating him on the track. He's a better driver right now. If anybody in this field is washed, I'm sorry. Have I they like even Daniel. Have scored a point yet this year? No, it's Daniel Ricardo. <laughs> He's the and the prosecution. And he had a 41 rests. second pit stop too. Because remember, everyone was talking about how the uh, the Red Bull Two, which is what I'm going to call the whatever it's called this year. RB Cash App. Yeah. yeah wait, Cash whatever. App. Wait, Cash. The Carb. App. Is that what they're calling it the Carb. Cash App. R M. R M B. Anyways, the Red Bull Two. Uh, they said at the beginning of the year it was just a clone. No. Of last year's Visa. Car. I'm sorry. Visa. Cash app, R and B. I got it. Red Bull Two. That's what we're calling it this year. <laughs> they said it was going to be this great car, and it's, it's not. not. It's not. It's not. So, because we know Daniel can drive, and no, we don't. Yeah, we do. Not anymore. No. No. Man. He had his time off, and what he was horrible at McLaren, what? and he's bad. Okay. And Yuki's beating him. What happened last year when he got to test the the Red Bull? That, that was just one time. When he was at he hit Stone. lightning in a bottle. He would have been on hit, the hit, front row with, lightning with in the guess who? Max. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So he still got it. All right. Anyways, I have no idea what went on at, at, at McLaren, but I'm pretty sure they set that car up for uh, Jacques Lando. Villeneuve. Anyways. <clears throat> What's the name? Give me his last name. Villeneuve? Villeneuve? Jacques Villeneuve. 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 Says that Ricardo's washed. And wait, wait, wait. The only reason he's on there is because he has TV appeal. He's funny. He smiles a lot. And he's a character that sponsors know. And that's the only reason. And there's a very there. good that's chance what they he'll said. be in the Red Bull next year. So Over Checo? Well, if Checo leaves, because Checo... Said he's going to retire. Checo could retire. He's this is his fourteenth or fifteenth year. So, yeah, but he could keep. Hey, Alonso's still racing. But Hamilton's Alonso's still Alonso, racing. Though. Alonso's crazy. Come on now, Alonso's. The, he's like one of the great drivers of ever. And Checo's not. Checo's a very good Formula mm. One driver. He's a number two. He's always been a number two. Checo couldn't drive a Haas. What? He could go to Haas if he Why wanted. Why would he do that? He'd go to Alpine. I think if he wanted to keep driving, they're gonna pay him. Okay, he if has he, fans. He, wants to keep he sells driving. merch. If he wants people to keep follow driving, him, he'll stay at Red Bull next year. But if he doesn't want to keep driving, because there's rumors that he's gonna retire. Check out, don't retire. I like you, man. If the he fans retires, like you, they're gonna put Richardo in the car. The Mexican fans love the you. End. Do not retire. Keep okay, on racing, my next? man. What's the next? Let's see. What's All right. T- t- tell tell the new fans. Oh, God. These what new fans? Oh, the ones that watch that drive to survive. Oh my God! I Tell them why it. they need to keep watching Formula One. I Mike. tried to watch. Tell the them drive why. To survive. I watched three minutes of the first episode <laughs> and I turned it off. 
I'm but like, what? T- that's t- has t- tell the new fans why the they need to keep watching. Because, like, okay, you, I'm not, I'm getting some texts, not texts, but DMs of people saying, is this how really Formula One is? Yep. And I, I told them, I said, well, you do have eras where there's dominance, but typically other teams are in, you know, they can or win a, a race. race or two. Or there's a race going on. There's yeah. No, there's no racing I going said, on this year. So. I said and the, there won't be any next year. But my favorite thing I mean, Max about, has won eight straight races again. My favorite part about this season is how the Red Bull team stole the Mercedes concept and made it work. <laughs> and it's so funny. That, that is a thumb in your like, nose, oh right? God. It's like... When I first saw that car, I was like... Because remember, a lot of times when they, when they, when they uh, have their reveal of the car, it's really just a, uh, a livery show. But this year, they put that up there, and I'm like, oh, that's a joke. I thought it was a joke, because it looks just like last year's Mercedes. Well, except it's a little bit, they have that, like, point at the top. It's little, no, it's, it's the like, same. pointier. There's, little, there's the horns that the go horns. all the way around the top of it. I think the, the lines are better. The, the lines on this Red Bull car, compared to the Mercedes car of last year, is crisper. It's sharper. It's I mean, it's Adrian Newey. It it's looks the better. It's same. It's not. They stole their shit. And, it's not, but their floor—it's their floor of that car, that's, and it's Adrian Newey. So, but tell the tell the fans, go through a little history for the fans, the new fans of how these errors work, and when the regulations change, and how one team usually gets right and dominates. Okay, this is Formula One in a nutshell for all you new fans who don't watch Formula One. The best part about Formula One is before the race, the first couple laps, the whole bit in the middle is completely useless. Then the race is over. Then they have a party. That's Formula One. What about qualifying? Isn't qualifying usually used pretty to be. exciting? Not not so much right now. Now it's just Red Bull, Red Bull, Red, Red Bull. Kind of they they seem to be putt putting around, and then when it's not like when Mercedes was dominating, they would be like a couple tenths off of whoever was around, and they would turn the engine up, and they end up on the pole. So, which is what Red Bull's doing right now. What do we have to look forward to in Australia? Um, a shrimp on the bobby? Shrimp on the bobby. No, but seriously, what? What? I mean, is there going to be any surprises? Hmm. Okay, so Max wins. Who's coming in second? Checo. I think Charles Leclerc's going to come no. in second this race. No. You know, the one thing I like about Charles, and this is one thing, and... Checo you know, has to has to if he qualifies in the top five he's, he's never Charles seen. is by now second favorite driver after Lewis. Why? Because I like Charles. I think he's. I think right now, if all things are equal, Charles Leclerc is the best qualifier in Formula One. Yeah, but he's in the in the Ferrari, and the Ferrari's not even close to the, the way. Yeah, and he still out qualifies Max sometimes. Yeah, but then the race starts and it's over. But um, we're talking about qualifying. <laughs> I, I think so. I think if Lewis needs to get his kind of form right and get in one with this car, because qualifying hasn't been that great this year, and if he, I mean, it's only two races in, so I'm sure he'll get. He's usually a slow starter. Because remember that one year, I think it was 2016, Rosberg won the first four races, and Lewis still almost beat him if it wasn't for that yeah. engine uh, blowing away. Are them are them running into each other at Spain? We won't no, talk about that. We won't talk about that. But um, but what I'm saying is, I think he needs to really get his qualifying pace back because otherwise, help him though. When he goes to Ferrari, it might get ugly on the qualifying man because Charles is fast. He's quick okay. on that one lap. The problem with everybody right now is that the the long range pace on the Red Bull is so much better than everybody else. Mm. They're faster at the beginning of the stint, yeah, and they they don't fall off that much. No, they start off heavy they fuel. They were doing like thirty six point twos fuel. or something uh-huh. at the beginning of their stint, and they were still doing thirty six somethings at the end of their stint when the rest of the cars were losing like two or three seconds a lap. So. Yeah, you're done. It's like it's like the season's over. I mean, just maybe they got a permanent party mode like Mercedes had. Well, all I know is the whole point when they win a race, they get to go to the party after. There's something in that car that the FIA needs to dig and they need to put find a out, out behind it and say you got to do this. Take you, away you the can't. DRS for the Red Bull. 
they can't, well, they can't do that. that. I but, know, but that's the only that's three. The only they had three DRS zones in Saudi Arabia. I thought that was too much. You, you know what I'm noticing? It should be a, if they're going to have that stupid thing. It should be a DRS zone anytime you can open it. It shouldn't be a DRS zone. It should just be like when permanent you up, whenever you want. Whenever but you, want you know what? Up. It should be like deployed where they deploy um, the electrical power and they. I think it should be some type of deployment that depletes. You can use it when you want. It depletes. You got to uh, gear it back up. It has to, you know, uh, waver back up, and then you could use it again. You should be able to use it anytime you want, and then when you use it, it's gone, and it takes a while to, you know, power up, and then you can use it again. And the reason why I say that is these DRS trains, dude, they have DRS trains for like freaking 8, 10, 12 laps. And it's fucking boring. Oh, okay, dude. now I'm gonna say this again. I Go say ahead. this in every episode. I know you do. Take, I know it's. I even know what's coming. Take away the. I wings. know what's coming. Take away the wings. Yes. Take away the floors. Yes. Give them all super super soft. Super tires, soft tire. And Red Bull is still gonna win all rah, the rah, 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 rah. The end. See, I did it. What? Blah blah blah. Blah blah. I knew what you can say. What's the last thing on our list over here? The last thing on our list is. What is going on at Red Bull? As far as all, I mean, it's a. There is a power. To me, going it's on. karma. It's karma for cheating. It's karma for <laughs> all the mean, nasty things that Christian Horner has said over the years about Lewis Hamilton and about Total Wolf and about the Mercedes team. And it's also karma for that AD twenty twenty one. Because we all know that now that we found out that the FIA president Ben Suleiman was he was tried to get uh, Alonzo's penalty overturned. He also tried to get the people to say that the Las Vegas race wasn't going to happen because the track wasn't good enough. We've heard this. The whistleblowers come out and said that with Red Bull. Wait, wait, wait. If he did that, he was president during 2021. If he did that, he probably had a hand in. We're tired of Lewis Hamilton winning. We need to have somebody else win. And him and Massa. And Massa was the fall guy. I think Sherman has no idea what he's talking I about. I just told you everything. And I uh, just gave you. If this was a court case, what is this I with have a very court? compelling. Okay. I have evidence. I have precedence. I have things that have happened in the past i have things that people are talking about you and i'm making a collusion a cal- the worst trial collusion. lawyer ever in the history the of the best world. trial lawyer you ever had anyways and i'll get you off we're supposed 999 to be talking call about me red about bull. any red ticket like that you get 999 call ago. me about your tickets. okay the red bull team all right it has nothing to do with some Employee, the Christian Horner's, <laughs> Christian Horner's personal assistant, who is actually supposedly having a relationship with Yas Verstappen. I have no idea why Christian Horner's been dragged into this, but the only thing that makes any sense is that there's a, a power play going on between Helmut Marco and Christian Horner to uh, control the Red Bull Formula One team. And how old is Helmut Marco anyway? He's it's 80. Like, so, dude, what is up with all these old dudes? Wanting to control it. You got Biden, you got Trump, you got Helmet Marco, you got Nancy. What is up with all these old people but wanting Sherman to stay in power and control everything? That I didn't like, hear what about happened to the new generation? What happened Christian to the younger Warner generation? was trying, putting a group together to purchase the Formula this One. This is true. I, and this is true. guess who was going to get elbowed out? Helmet Marco. Would have got elbowed out. That's why That's why this is all a witch hunt on, on Christian Horner, and he survived it. So He did survive, and what I loved, and I'm not a, I'm not a Christian Horner fan at all. I, I'm not. He's, he's, he's like the one of the best principals ever. No, no, I mean, I'm not a fan of... He's the of, CEO and the principal. I am not a fan of his outside voice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fan of what he says to the camera that his inside voice should be saying, but his outside well, voice fighter and lets he it say. He's a fighter, he's good at it. So. so, but he said no one's bigger than a team. He basically yeah, said, say wait, crap. no, but what I liked, he said, you know, Helmut Marco could leave. Uh, Helmut Marco is going to leave. And, and he said, Max Verstappen can go. We can, because rep- we know if as you put. As long as he has Adrian Newey, he's good. He's not good. only that, <laughs> but if he put probably seven other drivers in that car that oh. Max has, 
They're winning the championship. And like I said, if they put uh, Mazda spin in the car, they'd still win. Well, I, I'm the not going to go there. I'm going to go with a Checo Nor- would win Norris. The championship if he did. Yeah, if it was just Checo, he'd win. Like but I, I said. But, but I, he, he might have problems just because he doesn't qualify well, as well. Is better, is the, is, but is Alonzo would win. Best. Norris would win. Yeah, Leclerc yeah, would win. Science, Science would win. Science Hamilton wins. will win. Even Pastrami might win. Piastri? Yeah. yeah. He's pretty good. He, he's pretty good. Anyways. Even he, and I know and I hope and I pray that Nico Hulkenberg, there's 13 seats available next year. I hope and I pray that he gets into a good car so he can finally get a podium. Because if anybody in Formula One deserves <laughs> to be, be the on the podium, ever to, 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 is the Nico best driver never to get a podium. He, yeah, and he's Martin so Brundell or Brundell, good. Brundell, 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 Brundell. Yeah, he's supposedly the best Formula One driver ever not to win a race. not to win a race, <clears throat> but he's been on the podium. Oh yeah, even yeah. on the, even on some of the hoopty teams he was yeah. on, he was on the podium. I, I just want Nico to get his podium, man. And you know, and another thing, it doesn't look like Norris is finally going to get his first win because not this year. How's he going to get it? Because if and it's not signed, Max, it's going to be Checo. Contract, if though. it's not going to be Max or Checo, it's probably going to be Leclerc or Sainz. And that, and and maybe near the end of the season, Hamilton or Russell maybe get in there. But it ain't going to be Norris. Matter of fact, I would go how Piastri looks. I would go Piastri might get a win before Norris does. Yeah. You don't think so? I don't think anyone's going to beat the Red Bull this year. And if they do, it'll Clean be sweet. Like 24 sweet. races, 24 Red Bull wins. Is that what you're going with, Mike? That's what I'm going with. Pretty right, As it stands right now. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> Where's my $3 that you owe me and my $50 I thought we were letting it ride. Nope. No, I want, I want my money. Give me that money, money, money. I, I don't Big have money. any, I, I don't Big, have any American money. money, but I have some No, no, nah, nah, I'm getting that money. I got 53 bucks. Nah, money. I don't want that. I don't want that. <laughs> so, thank you all for tuning in to uh, another episode of sure, America Sure, almost a whole pizza before this. Now, I'd like to everyone to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel on Spotify, Uh are we Sub- on Patreon too? Sub- I have to set that up. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to us on Instagram. On Instagram, we're it's uh, America Media. It's not uh, America F One. It's America Media on it on Instagram. We're on also. We are on Apple Music, Amazon Music, Music, all the podcast stations, and wherever you find your podcast, we ha- we're there. But also. TikTok before it gets banned in America, and I guess I'll have to start. TikTok's gonna get they're, banned. They're trying to ban it for whatever Why? reason because it's the only place you can get actual news without all the censorship, like every all the other social yeah, but isn't media. Isn't it owned by China? It is, but it, that's why they want to ban it for but whatever China reason. China is the most. They they ban everything. What are you talking about, dude? You can put stuff on TikTok that you can't put on YouTube. On YouTube oh. You can put stuff on TikTok that you definitely well, can't YouTube's put on Instagram. You can put stuff on TikTok that you definitely can can't put on Facebook. And you can put stuff on, on X or, or Twitter, but you got to pay. I'm not paying. I'm not paying to use social media. Sorry, Elon. Even though I love Elon, I'm not paying you $12 a month. I'm not doing it. Okay, or what our else companies are we going to talk about? Are we so, done? That's that, you know. Don't 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 what? Don't don't do that. Don't do what? Just you know, you got your nice Ducati shirt going. You know, it's nice and red. It looks nice. Your hair is looking good today. You know, you're looking. You know, you know. If I haven't if, had a drink in six weeks. If you didn't keep your house 120 degrees, because it's like a sauna in here. I'm sweating. Close the window. It's no, keep the window open because I'm about to leave. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. What I was about to say is we are uh, oh, we really growing now. Too. These last couple weeks, we're really getting a lot of new fans to our show. We appreciate everyone that's... Oh, look at the new sweatshirt. Sherman's got him 50 bucks. Turn it around. Turn it around. I did turn it around. There new, you go. new sweatshirt. $50. Uh, we no like loss. everyone that's um, liking and subscribing and commenting. We also have buy a coffee available so buy us just buy us one cup of coffee a month because everything that we do here we do for the fans and it does cost us money so 
Excuse me? You're going to the Japanese? I am going to the Japanese Grand Prix. So if anybody out there listening is going to the Japanese Grand Prix, DM me. We can hang out. We can meet for some sake. Or if you're a Japanese fan, because we do post some things in Japanese. I do the translator because I love Yuki. So we'll do, we, every once in a while, we'll do some things in, in Japanese. So if you're a Japanese fan, you want to meet up for coffee, you want to meet up for sake, you want to take me out to dinner or lunch, hey, I'm coming out there to Suzuka and keep on. Konnichiwa, Ohio. Racing, everybody. Ohio means good morning. Hi, look at my ass. <laughs> <laughs>